Hey guys, so I recently like bought some stuff at CVS and a couple other things from other places and I want to show you guys. Okay, so CVS has like the beauty, like the beauty club or whatever because if you're a CVS like card member, like you know their rewards card, um, you, if you buy beauty products you're instantly like signed up for it or whatever and they have like CVS has some great stuff like so, um, I went the other day, and if you bought, like, $10 worth of CoverGirl stuff or something like that, you got a $3 extra bucks. And if you bought $15 worth of Revlon products, um, you got a $7 one. So, since I bought both, I got that back, and then I got another 10% off your next beauty purchase in the next three days. So, I ended up doing that and using that. So, um, so yeah. So when I went the first time to CVS, I got the new Natural Lux, the CoverGirl Natural Lux um, foundation, the liquid, it's a liquid silk foundation, and I got Bamboo 315. It's a little bit dark for my skin, so I mix it with something else. And I might, I used it once. I might return it for like the lighter, just one shade lighter, because um, they didn't have the shade like the lighter shade when I went. But I know the one by my school, I was in there yesterday, and they had it. So I went, I got this on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday. So I got that from CoverGirl, and then I also bought their, um, CoverGirl Clean, um, press powder. It's a sensitive press powder. Now I have the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Foundation, um, and I bought this, that foundation I have is in 210 Classic Ivory, and so is this press powder that I got. And I used it today to set my, um, foundation. I don't usually set my foundation unless I'm, like, going out. And I have a communion party to go to today, which I'm off from work, woohoo, <laughs> to go to. So I'm excited about that because I haven't had it off in forever. But, um, so yeah, so I bought that to set it. And it's really, it's really nice. I'm not a big powder person. I used to be, but not anymore. Um, and I usually like a dewy look, but today I decided to use it. And it turned out pretty well. And then, um, so for Revlon products, I bought two lipsticks, because I've, I used to say I was no lipstick person, and like lipstick, blah, 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 I become a lipstick person. So, I picked up two Revlon lipsticks. The first one is, um, Moon Drop, it's the Moon Drops lipstick. It's in, um, Lilac Champagne. It's a cream one, and it's like the, like the number is 590. So that is what it looks like, and then if you swatch it, that is what it looks like. It's a really nice, like, pinky color. It's not like a bright pink, it's more of like a fuchsia color. It's not too, like, pale pink. It's really pretty. And then the other one I got is the Revlon, um, Color Burst Lipstick in Baby Pink. It's, um, number 20, so that's it. And it's very, um, a sheer color. And then, so, that one will be the second one. It's really sheer. I don't know if you can even see it. If it will, like, come up. But, yeah. I like them both. And they're very, like, I like, they're very creamy, which is what I like about them. So, yeah, so, and I also picked up that day a couple other things. Um, the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish in Bubblegum Pink. I've become a very big nail polish person lately. And then I also picked up the um, same, like, same brand in Mint Sorbet. And then two other things I bought. So, this I bought a while, not a while ago, maybe a couple, like, two weeks ago. But I just never, I haven't done, like, a haul. And I don't think, I don't think I put this in a haul. If I did, I'm sorry, but I don't believe I did. But it's the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Mascara. And it's supposed to make your lashes, like, grow longer in 30 days. So I just try it. Why not? I mean, but it makes my lashes longer, like, when I put it on. But I don't know if I see that they're actually growing or not. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. I don't know. And I also picked up, um, Essie's Absolutely Sure. Which is my new favorite, favorite, favorite nail polish. Actually, I just did my 
top 10 nail polishes video. So that would be what it looks like on. So yeah. Love this one. Okay. So since I had gotten those coupons, like the ten, the $7, $3, and the 10% off, um, I went back yesterday because I had ran out of my um, makeup wipes and I was using the Yes to Cucumber ones that I really liked. But they don't, I don't, I didn't see it anyway in the CVS that I went to. So, um, I picked up the Neutrogena ones, the makeup remover cleansing towels, the night calming ones, because I usually take, like, you know, take the makeup off at night. And, um, they're really nice. I used one yesterday. They smell, they have, like, a scented, like, a scent. And they smell good. Like, it's like a calming, soothing kind of thing. So I like these very, very much. Yeah, this gives me 25 of them. So yeah, they were nice. So these are $8.99. Yeah, $8.99. And then I bought, um, I need a new, like, liquid eyeliner. And I've been, I wanted, like, a pen one because I had the elf one, but that one got all funky. And I've been using the Maybelline Line Stiletto one. But if you've watched the past videos, you know that I have, like, this love-hate relationship with it. Like, some days... It works perfectly, and then some days it gets me really pissed off. So, um, lately I've just been using my Sephora Cream Liner or whatever. So that's been working pretty well, but I wanted to try something else. So I got the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Pen. Um, I just got it in black. And then that's the tip of it. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if I'm going to like it. It's a very, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. That's what it looks like. Mm -mm, it has some a funky smell to it. Mm, we, well, we'll see. See how that goes. So, this was like eight ninety nine. This was like 11 something So, together they came out to be $22. But then, since I used all my like, coupons, it only came out to be $9, which I thought was pretty good. I thought that was like actually pretty good because I didn't want to spend that much money. So, yeah. That was good. So, then, okay. Back in the day, before Rite Aid was Rite Aid, some of them were Gen some of them were Eckerd, and before they were Eckerd, they were Genevieve. So back when it was all the way Genevieve, which when I was little, um, they used to sell NYX. They don't anymore. So when I was younger, I had a couple of things from NYX. I still have an uh, a trio from NYX that I love. Um, but some of the other stuff over you know over the years got yucky, and after a while, I just had to throw it away. I threw it all away. So I've been looking for a place around me that sells NYX. And I could not, I, none of the drugstores sell it by me, like Rite Aid, CVS, any of them sell it. So I was like, okay, maybe in the city I'll find something. So one day I walk into this like little rinky dink jewelry store on 34th Street, like more towards 8th Avenue. Um, just wanted to see like, you know, little, what little jewelry they have. I love like the super like rinky dink, like so stuff like this. Or, um, stuff like this, which is actually what I bought that day. You know, my best friend bought the same one. We have little matching bracelets. And I walked in there, I'm looking around, whatever, and all of a sudden I see a NYX stand. And I was, like, in heaven. I only bought a couple of things. I want to go back and buy more. They didn't have everything. But, um, but yeah, I was so excited. So I bought, um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Because everybody, you always see everybody using, like, the jumbo pencils, like, in their tutorials, and I've, like, been wanting them and wanting them, but I didn't want to pay, buy them online and pay the shipping and handling. So, yeah, but that's what it looks like. And then I bought, um, the eyebrow, the eye slash eyebrow pencil in teal. And then I bought two nail polishes. So I like, you know, I contained myself a little bit. I bought one in Indigo Blue. And then I also bought one in Lapis. And again, hold on. This is what Lapis looks like. So yes, I was very excited that I found a place to buy my NYX products. Okay, and then, okay. So I watched Michelle 1218. I believe that's her username. 
and she was talking about how she bought nail polish from this place called thebeautyclutch.com. So I went online, they sell China Glaze, I think Essie, Orly, um, OPI maybe, I don't know, but I know they spell, I know they sell Orly and China Glaze because I got two colors. Um, so yeah, it was six, uh, it was five ninety nine for this and seven fifty for this, so it's cheaper than what you would pay in store. And shipping and handling was only like three ninety nine, so I'll tell you that my order came to like maybe fifteen dollars around there. So I ordered it on the third, got it got shipped out on the fourth. So next day it was shipped out, ready to go. I didn't receive it till yesterday. Now this is not the company's fault, like at all. This is the United States Postal Service. All of them. Like it really they really pissed me off. Because um, okay, so I was supposed to receive it on Wednesday, which was today's, today, today's 14th. I think Wednesday was the 10th. I believe Wednesday was the 10th. Or the 11th. I don't know. Whatever Wednesday was this week, 10th or 11th, whatever it was, that's when I was supposed to receive it. And so I kept, like, you know, checking the tracking number, tracking number, tracking number, order, whatever it is. And so it said, like, attempted to deliver at 3.41 p.m. Now, I was at work, but my dad works from home. He has, like, an office at home. That's where he works from. He was home. That's around the same time my brother gets home from school, so he has to be home because my brother doesn't have keys to get into that house. So, they really never attempted to deliver it, which I was very annoyed at. So, I rescheduled it for them to deliver it the next day. Again, I get home from work, and I see that at 3.43 p.m., they attempted to deliver it. Plus, there was no, no notice either of the dates, which I was very annoyed about. There was no notice either day saying that they tried to deliver it to, like, you know, contact them, whatever, like, you're supposed to do. So, I went online. I rescheduled for me to go pick it up at the post office because the post office is right across the street from the Long Island Railroad, and I was taking the Long Island Railroad into school. So, I go to the post office, the post office on Friday morning. I go, the lady goes, do you have the, the, um, the notice from your, like, you know, they, they left for you? I said, no, they never left me anything. So she's like, oh, okay, can you give me your, um, address? So I give my address, and it's not there. They ended up delivering it later that day. But anyway, so these are, I was just annoyed about that. I'll probably, like, order from there again. But just the whole United States Postal Service thing, that really pissed me off. Anyway, so I bought these two colors. I bought China Glaze and Peachy Keen. And this is what it looks like. And then I ordered Orly Cotton Candy. And I really like this color. I'll probably do my whole hand this now. But yeah, so that was my whole little drugstore haul slash beauty clutch. Um, so yeah, so that is about it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.